Hey folks, it's Chef Kevin. Can you hear the cicadas? They're crazy tonight down here in Jamesville, Virginia. I haven't made a video in a few days because I've been busy. I've been busy driving from New York City to Cape Charles, Virginia. It took me three nights and four days. Now that seems like a lot of time, but actually it's not because I drove down on a boat. And not a regular boat, but an antique naval boat. Of course I had some help. I had some help from Captain Garrett, one of the best people I've ever met in my life, along with his first mate, Sam. We had a really good time. I cooked some food. Nobody got sick. Nothing broke. But Sam, you gotta start eating more vegetables. Okay, so let's go in the house now and I'm gonna cook some, some food. Let's see what I have. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make. But enjoy that sunset, please. So I'm going to make a stir fry tonight. I have these wonderful Thai peppers here out in my garden. Beautiful. Three nice Thai style chilies. I'm only making two servings, so this will be really enough. Well, you know what? Let me get one more. Okay, let's go in the house. Oh, I gotta get my mint first. I have some mint growing in the front of the house. Okay, this is a nice, healthy meal, and I'm not using any bottled flavors per se. I have some soy sauce, which you have to have, and I have some roasted sesame oil. I have some fish sauce. Now, if you're not familiar with fish sauce, let me explain it to you. That is made from rotting fish. And if you were to smell it, you would probably puke because it's very vile. However, it goes very well with Thai style Chinese and Japanese food. You just use a few drops. You don't want to get too crazy. Okay, I have organic breast tenderloins. This is what I like to use. I like white meat and the tenderloins. Well, they're tender. I have some Thai noodles. Linguini. I have some bok choy, Chinese style cabbage. Basil. Cilantro mint from my garden five Thai chili peppers from my garden an onion a lemon sorry a lime garlic gotta have that and ginger salt and pepper black sesame seeds Well, let's get right into it. I'm hungry. This is going to be a nice, healthy, tasty meal. Watch how I do it while you watch the sunset on the PIP.
And I almost forgot the tomatoes. That's for the sauce. That's the key. I'm not using any faked bottled sauce here. Okay, my food prep is pretty much done except for the chicken. I'm going to do that right now. I have five sliced, thin sliced Thai peppers, nice and hot. I have half a clove of garlic, finely chopped. I have half of an onion, small chop, small dice. I have tea, sorry, about a tablespoon and a half of minced garlic. Now I mince that on a microplane, grated it, minced it. This way it's nice and fine because even if you slice it, it's so fibrous that it's, it's hard to, to really incorporate into a dish. I have some cilantro here. That's about a cup. And I have my bok choy, thin sliced. I have some mint. That's about eight mint leaves. And this is the basil. That's about a third of a cup of basil. And basil is very common in any type of Thai food. These are my chicken tenders. I have a pound of them, say more than a pound. And what I'm going to do is cut them against the grain. The grain is running lengthwise. I'm going to cut it against the grain. That way it's much easier to chew and it'll appear to be more tender. Get rid of that cartilage. I'm going to cut these pretty much all the same size so they cook evenly. Something like that. And then what I'm going to do is coat them in a little bit of flour. This way they come up nice and crispy. Okay, I'm going to put a little all-purpose flour right on top. Mix that up. Now some people like to marinate their chicken, but I don't like to do that because when you marinate it, that'll the chicken. <coughs> sorry, the chicken will absorb the water, the liquid, and then when you cook it. It, it steams more than becoming nice and crispy. So that's it right there. Let's go to the stove top. Okay, I'm using Joyce Chen Kosher Roasted Sesame Oil. Never even heard of Kosher Sesame Oil, but okay. Now I could use regular olive oil or vegetable oil, but this has a lot more flavor to it. Okay, I'm going to cook the chicken first and then the sauce separate and then marry them towards the end. I'm going to make these nice and brown, nice and crispy. It should take only about between four and five minutes. I got a pretty good heat on this. Cooking away nicely. Gonna put a little salt on that. A little pepper. And I'm gonna put the black sesame seeds in now. This way they'll get nice and roasted up. 
sort of like a dry roast. Put some oil. Now I like to use flour as opposed to using cornstarch because the flour, when you saute it off, it adds a nice little nutty flavor to it. As you can see, it's getting nice and brown. Don't take too long. Okay, I have some nice, crispy, brown chicken here. I'm going to pull this off and then start the sauce. Okay, so I'm actually using a Dutch oven or a cocotte. And that's because I have a nice, tight lid for this. And you need a lid to break down the tomatoes to make the sauce. I'm going to go ahead and put half my onion in, or I should say half of an onion. The ginger, sorry, the garlic. That was half of a head of garlic. That's the ginger there. Just going to let this cook down for a couple of minutes. Smells so awesome already. Ooh, that is good. I'm gonna put my Thai chilies in there from the garden. This just smells so awesome. Cooking over a high heat, I'm going to bring that down a bit. You certainly don't want the garlic to burn. There's nothing worse than burnt garlic. Well, maybe there is, but that'll be a topic for a, a different video. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes. These are cherry tomatoes. That was a carton. Looks like I left a them on this one. Now these tomatoes will break down and low the heat. It's a low heat right now. These tomatoes will break down and make a natural sauce. There's no need to buy that awful commercial sauce. And a little water. That was probably half a cup at most. Gonna put the lid on. Okay, this won't take long, probably about five minutes, and the tomatoes will break down, make a nice little sauce, and then I'll add the other ingredients. So it's been about 10 minutes. As you can see, the tomatoes have broken down quite nicely. Bok choy. 
That was about half of a head of bok choy. If you're still listening to this video. I'm going to add the fish sauce. That was probably just a couple of teaspoons full, and that's all you need. Going to add some soy. A couple of teaspoons. Now I'm not going to add my other vegetables. I, I'm still holding back on the mint, the basil, and the cilantro. And that's something you want to add towards the very end. Otherwise, they become quite mushy. And a nice little stew here, a nice little sauce. Loaded with a whole bunch of nice, healthy vegetables and spices. I'm going to let this cook down for a few more minutes. Bok choy doesn't take a lot of time to cook down as compared to red cabbage or regular cabbage that we, we normally know of. So I'm going to cover it and let it cook down. In the meantime I got my water heating up for my noodles. The bok choy has cooked down. I'm going to shut the heat off. I'm going to add my basil and mint. And half the cilantro. I'm just going to stir it in. I don't want that to become mush. going to add the chicken back in now. The chicken is already cooked. It's nice and warm. Just going to mix that in a bit. Waiting for the noodles to cook a little bit longer. And we're going to have a nice meal. I'm sorry, I'm going to have a nice meal tonight. And if you're still watching this video, which I hope you, you are, You're enjoying it. I'm having fun. Okay, a nice clean hot pan, a little sesame oil, these noodles are essentially cooked Just going to cook them through a little bit more. Get a little color on them and then I'll add the chicken back to that. This will just take a few minutes. Hope you're hungry. Okay, so these noodles are thoroughly cooked. Nobody likes a limp noodle, do they? Okay. I'm a chef, not a comedian. Look at all that color. Beautiful. Smells awesome. This is crazy. I want to coat up all those noodles with all the sauce. Heat off. Mm, I can smell the mint, I can smell the basil. 
and this is gonna be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna plate it. So here's my meal de jour. And one thing I'm going to add is a little more cilantro right on top. And I'm going to add some fresh lime juice. I really love lime juice. Lime juice is very popular with Thai food. Can't go wrong with lime juice. Half a lime juice. Okay, let's do the taste test. Chef Kevin's chicken Thai. Mmm. Ah, oh, it's hot. That's Thai. Hmm. I think I can definitely taste the mint, the basil, cilantro. Hmm. The noodles are al dente, which they should be. You don't want mushy, mushy, mushy noodles. Mm. The lime juice on top really adds such a nice flavor. And this is really a pretty healthy meal. There was some vegetable oil, but that's not that bad for you. There was no bottled sauces. There's a lot of fresh ingredients here. Don't use that bottled garlic, that's just whack. Hmm. This is so good, folks. Okay, this is my dinner for this evening. Oh, nice and hot, look at those fresh Thai peppers in there. Hmm. Okay, folks, this is my meal for the evening. It's getting rather late. And if you like my videos, if you like my Thai chicken, if you like my sunsets, if you like me, my dogs, whatever, then throw me a freaking bone here. Throw me a freaking bone here.